After waiting for nearly a month, Jujutsu Kaisen leaks are finally back and as you might have guessed it, they are as shocking as ever. The current battle between Sukuna and Yuta is more than a clash between the two strongest sorcerers alive, it's a rematch Gojo Satoru deserves. But what if I told you that in reality, the rematch is actually going to happen? These leaks I stumbled upon show that Gojo Satoru is coming back, and not only that, these spoilers actually explain how it's gonna happen. But before that, only 1% of people who always watch my videos are also subscribed to the channel. So what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and become a permanent otaku. Alright, Jujutsu Kaisen is currently in the midst of one of the most exciting battles ever, with Yuta Okotsu going up against Sukuna. We know that they've already fought once where Yuta lost. But this time things are different. Yuta is now in control of Gojo Satoru's body, which means he has access to limitless curse technique and the six eyes, one of the most powerful combination in the series. However, will it be enough for Yuta to win this time? Unfortunately, even without the leaks, we already knew the answer. No. In chapter 262, Sukuna was already dominating Yuta and the leaks further confirmed that he was not fated to defeat the King of Curses. While it's true that Yuta's current strength is closer to Sukuna's, we should not forget that he is on the time limit due to the specification of Kenjaku's curse technique. So, he has less than 5 minutes to live, and once the time is up, it will be interesting to see what happens to him and what the fate of Gojo's body will be. We are going to dive into all these leaks, analyze them and examine every detail because we've been waiting for this moment for a month now. The first leak panel shows Gojo being in some kind of weird state. It looks like he's in the slumber. I believe it was meant to show Gojo's soul's condition and that it's slowly awakening. Because as you can see in the top part of the screen, Kenjaku's curse technique marks are slowly fading away, which obviously means that Yuta's control over Gojo's body is slowly weakening. Maybe it means that once that mark is fully gone, not only will Yuta lose control but he will perish entirely, or maybe his soul won't disappear and it will stay inside Gojo's body. Now I don't think they will both be controlling the body, or even communicating, but either way it's clear that these leaks are hinting that Gojo Satoru's soul is starting to awaken. Said end like this is truly unfortunate considering for how long Gege has been building up Yuta's character, with even claims made that Yuta had the same or greater potential than Gojo Satoru, but in the end he was unable to achieve much. We gotta let go of the dream of seeing Yuta's powers blossom, or even the dream of seeing Yuta in Gojo's body smashing Sukuna together with Rika. This idea was further strengthened when Gege dropped a panel that showed Rika holding Yuta's lifeless body. It confirmed that Rika was bound to Yuta's body, and her not following him kinda erased the possibility of Yuta reactivating Kenjaku's curse technique ever again. Alright, back to leaks. Slowly but surely Kenjaku's mark fully disappears, and that can only mean one thing. Gojo Satoru regains control of his body and attacks Sukuna right away. We know that in Brawl, Gojo was one of the best sorcerers. He was able to fight Sukuna evenly when the King of Curses was in his prime state. And now, considering Sukuna's current condition, there is absolutely no way he can fight Gojo on one on one unless he makes some kind of weird binding wow again, just like he did during round 1, to use that world cutting slash that cut Gojo in half. We should also keep in mind that Gojo's body is not in best shape, and we don't even know if it can perform half as well as it would if Gojo was in his prime state. Next leak shows Gojo using unlimited void against Sukuna, but even then, Currently Weekend Gojo might not be able to compete against Sukuna in Domain Clash, which turns out to be a thing after Sukuna regained Malevol and Shrine. I believe Gojo will still die, but he will manage to damage Sukuna enough so that he won't be able to use Malevol and Shrine again, because as you remember, he already did that once and Sukuna being unable to use Domain Expansion was the only reason good guys had a chance at defeating him all this time. So, Gojo's death will awaken Yuji Tadori's powers. 
There is no way Yuji, who's still the main character of the series, will be left without a domain, especially after his rampage against Sukuna. Don't forget that after landing tons of black flashes, his potential is now extremely boosted. So with emotional shock coupled with boosted potential, Yuji Itadori will awaken and unleash the beast inside him. He will gain domain expansion which will most likely be creepy AF. At least that's the way I see his awakening. It absolutely has to be Yuji who deals the final blow, because JJK is about ideals, and with Sukuna being the ultimate selfishness, the one defeating him must be Yuji Tadori, who represents ultimate selflessness. Now, I don't think even with Sukuna's defeat JJK will be over, because even though the main villain is undoubtedly Sukuna, the one who set all this up was Kenjaku, and the Loki of Jujutsu Kaisen world still has one last card to play, the curse merger or new Tengen if you will. But that's the tale for another day. If you'd like me to make this video as soon as possible, let me know in the comments. So I believe Sukuna will go down with a smile on his face and he will obviously mock Itadori one last time with a line similar to this. I'd like to see how you handle this brat and then he will complete the merger and perish with a devilish grin on his face. I'm not sure if these leaks are genuine or not, but considering for how long we've been waiting for new chapter, I truly enjoyed making this video and I hope you will enjoy watching it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe for more JJK content. Until next time, keep reading, keep exploring and stay otaku.